Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing Aunt Bex Creations, um, my crafty life tag. And she had eight questions, and so I'm going to answer them. And uh, first question, how long have you been crafting? And I've been crafting forever. I um, started when I was little. My mom was very artsy. My sister's older than me, and she's very artsy. So I just uh, started doing what they were doing. I My grandma sewed, so I started sewing. And so I just guess forever. And, it's, and the next question was, do you sew and what do you sew? Yes, I sew. I love sewing. It's my number one uh, obsession. It's my number one hobby. And what I like to sew, as I brought out a few samples, I like to sew... Um, American Girl clothes. This is the Anna set that I made for my daughter's American Girl. So I made that and I have an embroidery machine so that's how I got that on there. So I made that and these are one of my favorite tops to make. And it has a little removable belt with a snap. I make several of those. And this is the same top as the Anna top, Anna top, but just different fabric prints. And then I made my daughter this dress just uh, the other week. But there it is. So. And then I love to make American Girl underwear. <laughs> and these aren't granny panties. They're a cross between bikinis and uh, briefs. So they just go higher up in the back, but not really in the front. But I love making American Girl underwear. Oh, and here's another of the tops. And I sew quilts, and I sew bags, I sew purses. You name it, I've sewn it. So yes, I like to sew. And three, what craft store is closest? Um, I, I'm pretty much like 40 minutes from any craft store. The closest one is Michael's and Joann's and they're right next to each other. So that's convenient. And your favorite craft store, I would have to say I shop more at Michael's only because it's closer. Hobby Lobby is even farther away. But I like going to Hobby Lobby because our new ho our, our Hobby Lobby is new. So that means their inventory is really fresh and new. So I like going there. And plus they have like miniatures and things that like Michael's. Michael's has some, but Hobby Lobby has a bigger selection. But for fabric, I always shop at Joann's. I never buy fabric at Hobby Lobby. And favorite um, videos to watch. Um, my favorite videos to watch would be like process videos, how people are making things, uh, techniques. I'm getting a little bored with some techniques. They seem to be all the same, but I like techniques and I like watching uh, watercoloring videos. And I like videos that aren't long. I like short videos. I, I just don't have enough time to watch, you know, a 40 minute long video or an hour long video. And it says, what channels do you like to watch? I mostly watch crafting channels. And those channels, um, my favorites are, I wrote them down. And it, it says to three, but what I did is for crafting channels, um, the Frugal Crafter, I found her right away. So I like watching her videos. And I like Scrap and Stampers. And I'm not associated with the Not Too Shabby Shop, but I like to shop at that store and I like uh, Jamie's how she colors and her cards are so darn cute and then another um, channel I like to, like to watch is Julia Alterman she does some great coloring with colored pencils and cold picks a lot of colored pencils though so I like her channel and then I like a lot of others but these are the top ones that I watch and for um, kind of artsy type channels I like watching and I tried to find some that maybe that I watch that you guys don't know about and one is Sanketi M and I'll have all these linked down below 
and she does some good not good great water coloring videos uh, with unity stamps and then another uh, channels a couple channels I like is Tao Ye Chi and he does lots of reviews on paints watercolor paints and pencils and that I really like his channel but it's more artsy and then Owings Art his channel is more artsy too he caters to more of the the art type uh, viewers but he gives honest reviews and that's where I've learned a lot about watercolor paints is through Marty and that's Owings Art and question number seven is what products do you love the most um and I'm assuming this is crafty products um and my most favorite crafty product is glue I love adhesives <laughs> I don't know why I like the way they stick I like the way they smell I like the way they work I love adhesives I have so many adhesives and I should probably do a review on adhesives because adhesives are my favorite and then I'm you know and everybody you know is die cutting machine things like that but you know and I love my scan and cut too I really like that product and it says and that you know that's a brother product and that to tell you the truth I don't like brother sewing machines so well I like singer sewing machines and my embroidery machine is actually a POF so and it says what is something new you've tried and you think others would enjoy okay and this is something new to me well kind of new but I really like I'm really liking easel cards and this is what I'm talking about this is the easel card and I cut this on my scan and cut the easel card part and this is a stamp set that I bought from Jamie's shop the not too shabby shop it's uh, pink and main it's the penguin ice cream one but uh, my scan and cut I did cut this out on the scan and cut but my paper shifted my mat lost its stickiness but I've since re stickied it but I kind of cut out the penguins and stuff crooked so I haven't sent this card to anybody but so that's kind of new to me and, and I tried it and I like making these <clears throat> and then um, sewing that's not new to me but a lot of people think it's so darn difficult but it's not if, if you can put two pieces of fabric on top of each other and push a pedal down with your foot you can sew everybody I hate when people say oh I wish I could sew but it's so hard no it's not anybody can sew <laughs> heck my eight-year-old sews anybody can do it but and then an, a new product that I've learned because you can always learn new things with sewing and my sister got me this and this is to make Chanel and remember your, your grandma's uh, bed spreads with those rows of fuzzies that made up a picture that's Chanel so she got me the Chanel making kit and this is uh, you sew layers together and then you make these rows and then you take that cutter and you go in between the rows and then you brush it with a special brush and here's a picture of Chanel but you all remember what Chanel is now I think but that's Chanel so I can't wait to try that that's going to be super fun it'll be a little time consuming but I don't think any more than making like a rag quilt or anything so that was the last question and this is a tag um, by Aunt Bex Creations and I'll link her channel down below and the tag is my crafty life tag so thanks for watching bye